Hey, what's going on everybody? RTR Bama Fan 103 coming to you from the great state of Alabama. Thank you for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I know it's been a little while since I've been on here. In fact, the last video I made was against the LSU Tigers and everything. So I'm, I'm going to kind of backtrack just, just for a minute, um, say some pretty quick things just to kind of catch up to where we're at. Obviously, the, the main story to this video is going to be the SEC Championship, Alabama Crimson Tide versus the Georgia Bulldogs. But I do kind of want to backtrack just for a minute and say some just some real quick things about the games that I've kind of missed out on. And then I'll talk about this uh, SEC Championship game coming up this Saturday. So first and foremost, good to be back. I hate that I haven't been able to make any videos. I've been really busy here the last couple of weeks and everything once again. And, um, you know, it's just the way, way it is, the way it goes. So... Um, but let's go back to the LSU game. I, I didn't make a post game to yet. Alabama played a, a crappy game. They really look like they, they look like junk. And um, honestly, in my opinion, probably should have got beat. But AJ McCarron probably the best offensive drive within the, you know a minute and a half that I've ever seen. And uh, you know they got the win. I was very, very happy to see that Alabama got the win in Death Valley at nighttime and everything. But I got to give LSU a lot of credit. Uh, they played an outstanding game. I mean, Zach Mettenberger looked like, you know, Garcia did when Alabama played South Carolina in 2010. So <clears throat> it is what it is. But luckily, Alabama was able to come through with uh, get a get a win there. And then we, you know, obviously we went into the next week pretty beat up, pretty tired and everything. We had a pretty rough stretch right through there playing Tennessee at Tennessee, Mississippi State, then having to go to Tiger Stadium and take on LSU. And then you come home to play Texas A&M against, I'll go ahead and say this, I think Johnny Manziel probably will win the Heisman this year if he does, and it's a shame because he's a really, really good football player. This joker picked Alabama apart. Piece by piece by piece. 20 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. You know, Texas A&M over Alabama is crazy, man. You know, I and I just, I looked at this kid and I said, how is this happening? You know, how is Alabama just getting destroyed like this? But, uh, you know, I I, I got to get, you know, Alabama came back. You know, they, they, they played a great game and it really could have went either way going into the fourth quarter and everything. Texas A&M gets the best Alabama, and I give them all the credit in the world. They played one heck of a ball game, and, uh, you know, I will say that they are a nice addition to the SEC. I will give them credit for that. Missouri, not so much as far as football is concerned, but Texas A&M for sure. Um, they got a lot of tradition and, <clears throat> you know, a lot of things that, a lot of things that they do that, that kind of reminds me of an SEC school anyway. So, Texas A&M fans, you catch this. Congratulations to you. And welcome to the SEC. Uh, we'll see you guys next year. Uh, moving right along, Alabama goes, you know, <clears throat> once again plays at home against Western Carolina's a cupcake team. Everybody knew Alabama was going to blow them out. And uh, then the Iron Bowl showed up. Now, I really wanted to make a video for the Iron Bowl last week. Didn't have an opportunity to. But I'm kind of glad I didn't because, you know, as, as bad as it is to say, you know, most of the time an Iron Bowl is – Alabama, Auburn, they hate each other, and they go out there, and it's usually a pretty close game. This was not even, God oh, almighty, this was not even close. This wasn't even in the ballpark of close. Alabama just, just simply beat the shit out of Auburn, 49 to nothing. And, I mean, what else can you say? What else can you say? Gene Shizik lost his job on Sunday, and, I mean, I think everybody kind of knew it was coming. And, I, 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 honestly... I figured it was coming after they got beat by what? Who was it? Vanderbilt? Yeah, Vanderbilt beat him, and I said, "Man, that he, he's he's a guy. He's gone. He's out of here." But you know, not too much hate for Auburn. 
mainly because they don't really they have not they've had nothing to cheer about this season. They've absolutely had they've had nothing to cheer about. They've had nothing to rub into Alabama fans' faces. So I'm not really going to say a whole lot other than we beat the hell out of you Auburn fans and suck it up. You know maybe you'll get a better coach and we'll see what happens next year. Uh, that is if you guys don't end up on probation for these newfound NCAA investigation fixing to go on down there on the plains. Now that I finally caught back up, it is time to talk about this SEC championship game. Sorry guys, I know this video is going to be a little bit long and everything, but I do want to talk about this SEC championship game. This is the only chance I have this week. So I'm not going to have a chance to, you know, retort to any of you Georgia fans that get up here and talk trash back to me and everything. But I'm going to tell you how it is. I'm going to tell you what I think about the game, uh, the keys to the game for Alabama winning. And, I, you know, I, I will give Georgia the credit that they deserve because, obviously, they deserve to be in this game. So let's go ahead and get started. SEC Championship 2012, Alabama Crimson Tide versus the Georgia Bulldogs. Well, you know, for, for those of you who don't know, which – most of you Alabama fans do, but if you don't, this is the first time that Alabama has ever, let me has ever played a team in the SEC championship other than Florida. And I think it's pretty cool. I, I mean, if, if it was going to be anybody, I'm glad that it's Georgia. Because Georgia, you know, as far as, far as the way I look at it, Georgia kind of, you know, kind of crawfished kind of backed up a little bit, and I know it was the way the schedule went, but uh, Georgia kind of crawfished out of being able to play Alabama this season during the regular season. Now, I know all the fans on here would have loved to have seen it and loved to have been a part of that hate week and everything, but, you know, with, with this game transpiring and everything, I think it's I, I honestly think it's really cool because now Alabama does get that opportunity to play Georgia again, and... Uh, the stakes couldn't be higher, man. They really couldn't. Alabama being number two, Georgia being number three. The loser of this game goes to a non-BCS bowl game, probably the Capital One, I would have to say. They will probably go to the Capital One Bowl. Um, and it sucks because Florida is right there at number four. They're not going anywhere because there's not anybody that's going to jump up over them. But the, the only way that either one of these two teams would be able to go if they lost the SEC championship and go to a BCS bowl game is if somehow somebody jumped Florida in that number four spot. And I just, I, I don't see that happening. I really don't. Um, it's, it's too, you know, with, with there only being one game left in the season, I just don't see it happening. But, so that makes this game, oh God, it makes it so important because if you lose you're going to the Capital One Bowl. And if you win, you get to go play Notre Dame. So, I mean, it's, it, this, is a, this is a huge game, folks, a huge game. Georgia, I'm going to talk about Georgia first. Georgia, shout out to all the guys in the TTC from Georgia, by the way. Magnum and Junkyard Dog and Auto Ghost. Uh, hell, who else? Kobe. Um... I, I, you know, I don't really know a whole lot more of you Georgia fans or anything like that, but I know those guys, and shout-outs to all you guys, man, because, you know, I know you guys are excited. You should be. You know, I know you guys were kind of looking forward to this from the beginning of the season, and then you took that loss to South Carolina, and then, you know, you were able to climb your way back up the ladder, and now you're you're back in the SEC championship game again. But uh, shout-outs to you guys. You know, I, for Georgia, I will say this. Offensively, Georgia and Alabama, eh, they're kind of sort of on the same, kind of sort of on the same playing field. With an exception that Alabama's offensive line, I, in my opinion, is better. Um, Georgia has some, you know, the uh, the girly kid, the running back. He's really good. Brandon Marshall, I believe, is his name. I think that's his name. Don't hold me to that. I'm I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but he's really good. Uh, Georgia's got some pretty quality receivers and everything. Aaron Murray, their quarterback, not a bad quarterback, man. I, 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 you know, I've thought a lot of Aaron Murray 
uh, the last couple of years, and I said, you know, this kid's going to be really good. Well, he's he's shown it. I mean, he's done very, very well this season. The only game he didn't do very well in was obviously the South Carolina game. And, of course, I mean, Georgia's offense has been playing really, really great the last two or three weeks, so they're going to be tough to deal with. But um, also Georgia's defense, I give all the credit in the world. I, I, I mean, and, and I've talked to some of you Georgia fans, maybe not a whole lot, but a little bit. Jarvis Jones, is he's a great player. He's an impact player. He's really good. Um, and also, you know, Bakari Rambo is really good. You guys have a – you guys have a good defense. You have a good defense, and they're going to be tough to deal with as well. Defensive line is pretty good. The secondary is not too bad. However, you know, as far as, you know, going uh, – go, comparing them to Alabama, i got to give Alabama the edge, obviously. They're my team, man. Uh, I do think that Alabama's secondary is a little bit better. Not much better, but a little bit better. And, uh, you know, what, hell, we'll just see what happens on Saturday, man, really and truthfully. You know, if A.J. if AJ can stay consistent with his passing and um, if if Alabama can continue, it can effectively run the football, it's going to be tough to do it. Like I said, you know, Jarvis Jones is a tough, tough ball player. He's tough to deal with and everything. If, they, if, if, if the offensive line can block this cat and, and Alabama can establish the run, you know, be able to do a little bit, a little bit of play action pass, and you know, uh, get some passes down to Amari Cooper and things of that nature. I think Alabama's gonna gonna do very well in this game. If they can't do that, this is this is gonna be a really close game. So, all in all, both teams, eh, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Alabama fans don't don't get mad at me, but they're kind of sort of on even even playing field right now. Um, but I do think Alabama has the edge, and I do think Alabama wins this game. Not, uh, not picking against my team, guys. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I think Alabama wins this game. It's going to be close, man. It's going to be close. I, I, I would say, and I'm not going to say, you know, the numbers or nothing, but I will say I think Alabama at least gets this thing done by three points. By three points, they go on to play – Notre Dame for the national championship, but it's going to be great, man. I can't wait. Honestly, I can't wait. Georgia fans, I know you guys can't wait either, but, um, you know, this is something that I've I've been looking forward to. I never really thought that Alabama would make it this far in the season, but they have done a fantastic job. They've played great this season, and, you know, now we get to see where the chips lie. So... I guess that's about it. You know, like I said, I think Alabama wins this SEC championship by three points. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a hard-fought game. And, uh, you know, may the best team win. I think Alabama does, but you never know. So, but anyway, guys, uh, before I go, shout-outs to, you know, like I said, to all, the, all the, the, the dog pound, all you Georgia fans that I know on here on YouTube. Shout out to all the Alabama Nation, Roll Tide guys, uh, Loopy and Law Tide, Nosmer, South of Ten, Hoss, um, shoot, all you guys, man. Seriously, shout outs to each and every one of you. Um, if I missed you, I apologize. Um, but I hope everybody, I hope everybody, you know, gets through the rest of this week. I know, you know, it's, it's Monday. And we still got several days left to go and everything. I'm not going to get a chance to retort to any of you crazy Georgia fans that I'm sure are going to get up here and do a lot of hating on Alabama. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, I look forward to a great game Saturday. My best team win, I think it's going to be Alabama. And that's all I got for you guys. So until next time, probably, hopefully, hopefully next week, uh, I'll be able to hop up here and do a video. If not, I will do one as soon as I get an opportunity to. Okay? But anyway, guys, I'm out of time. I got to run, and until next time, go Bama, roll, tide, roll. Let's get it done, baby. SEC championship time, Bama. Let's roll into Atlanta and get this thing so we can go play for the national championship. Peace out, guys. Catch you later.